Welcome back. When I got the crystal for the TIE Fighter, I grabbed a couple of them, so I thought I'd make a lighthouse. I've seen some of these before, and I used one of the LEDs Tom sent me, and I recessed the battery pack in the top, and I used Elm. Let's go ahead and get started. The wood shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits and Easy Wood Tools. Okay, I'm going to start out with this piece of elm. It's about 13 inches long and 4 inches in diameter. I need to put a tenon down on each end of it because I want to recess the bottom of it for the battery pack. And then I also need to drill a hole all the way through it. And I'm just making little tenons because I'm not actually going to be holding in the chuck and turning it out here without the tail stock up. So they really don't need support that much. I just need to use it to use the Forstner bit to hollow out the bottom and drill the hole all the way through it. Okay, well that works out just about perfect. I have a two and a half inch Forstner bit and it's just about the same depth as the little battery pack I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the lay speed down to about 250, 300 and bore into that. I'll probably go in a little bit more to give myself some room. Okay, I've cleaned this little lip off. There's just a little bit of material there, but I want to drill out for the lights. And I didn't get to show you this on the, on the lamp video. I deleted it, but what I'm going to do is have a live center. Just took the tip out there, put it in your tailstock, run it right up there, and then the lamp auger just runs right through the tailstock. Okay, my little battery pack fits in there. I got plenty of room, probably a quarter of an inch or so. I'm going to bring this around a little bit cup it out so it sits nice and flat. So I put the tip back in the live center. I'm going to bring it up just to help stabilize it. And I'm going to clean that up and bring that corner around. I got a little flat spot here too I need to clean up too. Okay, while I'm here I'm just going to go ahead and sand this and finish it and then put the jaws inside and expand it and then work on the rest of it. And again, I'll bring the tailstock back up and basically just spindle turning through the rest of it.
There we go. And again, it's elm. It's 15 inches tall, three and a half inches in diameter. And I just used a little eye hook to mount the crystal there. And the aluminum rods are, you can get them at the, at the hardware store, but I, it's more of that scrap aluminum I had. So it's a pretty, pretty basic project, just some spindle turning. The only issue you may have if you don't have the two and a half inch Forstner bit would be to, you know, recessing the bottoms, but it can, you know, just make a bigger tenon on it so you can work on the end of it there. But it was it was fun. I think it came out great. That elm's beautiful. All right. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe.